Hey there YouTube, welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about how to fix your crashes, your glitches, your corruption, everything that's going wrong with Warzone Pacific and Vanguard, the, the dev errors, everything like that. I can fix your game crashes and let you know I've been streaming it perfectly for over two years now and I'm going to tell you guys my secrets today. As usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. Welcome and first thing we need to really talk about is running the game as admin We're gonna run through some of the basics and then get really down to the secrets and the nitty-gritty So don't go anywhere. Keep watching. I'm here to help you guys. I'm not here to waste your time um, So one of the first things you want to make sure you do is when you go into the actual folder where you have the game installed I happen to have it on my e-drive in Call of Duty Vanguard for instance Okay, what you actually want to go to do is the, the launcher the actual exe the main one That's about 274 megabytes You want to actually right click on that go to properties go to compatibility and always say run this program as administrator hit apply and okay all right once you have that done uh what you want to make sure i know i know guys i know but get your battle net your windows and your graphic updates all done uh whether it's an nvidia geforce experience uh if battle net has a pending update anything like that make sure it's all up to date and out of the way we got to get the basics out of the way right so um some people have even been adding additional command line arguments in the game settings so that's something that you can do you can see as i have uh, dash direct 3d there uh in game settings when you right click there in battle net that's something you can try to do as well um, another thing after that, if the, no matter what you do, you're still having uh, problems. You've even done the scan and repair here, which is another thing you can try. Um, and you're still having issues. You're going to have to look at um, optimizing probably the, the game file. So how you do that is you actually go to your user folder, your documents user folder. Uh, I go to my Call of Duty Vanguard. You go to players and you go to advanced options and you want to edit this. Right click edit. So now this is where the game actually controls that much memory usage it's going to use on your GPU, how many actual physical cores it's going to use on your CPU. Now, Vanguard had an update where it actually says up to 16. Um, for Warzone specifically in the Modern Warfare file, I found three worked for me better, but you actually want to try, this was actually set to five, which is incorrect, and I set it to six because I'm actually running uh, six cores currently uh, on my CPU. I'm running a precision game boost mode with the AMD Ryzen Master software. Um, but you don't have to get super technical. All you got to know is how many physical cores you have on your CPU, 4, 6, 8, 12. Uh, and you want to try to match this number to the exact cores you have because this number is not getting set right all the time and it's causing performance issues within the game. Um, and sometimes I have a feeling that there's a, some kind of issue or memory bleed with this still. I would try 0 0.55, 0 0.65, 0 0.75 if the 0 0.85 is not working for you. If you're getting stress on your CPU, or your GPU, you need to go into this advanced config file and modify them to get some big performance increased FPS boost and crashing and stuttering to stop within your game, possibly even some dev errors. This is a huge secret right here. Um, if you've actually absolutely tried this, you've tried everything, um, you're gonna need to actually start from probably scratch. But before you do that, there is another thing you can try in the performance tab. Um, if you go to the details, you can select any one of your applications, say, Say my Master Plus software is running very slow. You can actually set the priority and you can actually set which CPUs actually focus on that application and help it run. Um, so this is something else you can try to stop stuttering or stop crashing, things like that. You can actually go in here, assign certain CPUs, logical CPUs to the application and see if that helps as well as right clicking and setting the priority and making it above normal or high. That may stop some of the crashes and things for you guys as well. Now, if none of this works, if all of this fails, the one of the last things you can try, which always, always, always fixes it because they, when they update the game, the files are getting corrupted or they're not getting updated properly. And what you can actually do is just start from scratch. Now you cannot just uninstall the game. The game has tons of cache files located everywhere. I'm gonna go through some of them. I'm gonna list the total list of cache files down below in the description and comment. Make sure you check down there down below, throw the video a like. All right, for instance, let's go through like like the Blizzard cache. So you're gonna go to your C drive or wherever it's installed, C program data, uh, Blizzard Entertainment, uh, Battle.net, and then you have your cache folder here. So you delete this cache folder. I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna, you have to delete every single, you have to acid wash your system, delete all the cache folders, get it all out of there. I would even recommend rebooting your system and then reinstalling the game, and I guarantee all your issues will be fixed, especially if you go into the advanced config file in your documents folder for Modern Warfare, which is what Warzone runs off of. So make sure you go to the documents, players, advanced options here. 
make sure this is all set up correctly we're under work account video memory scale and you actually go into not only that but you're going to want to go into your your documents folder and your vanguard and then go into players advanced options and make sure these are all set correctly as well for this game to uh, utilize the best performance and make sure it's all running well i know this video is going to help you guys out and get your game running well i appreciate you so much please like comment subscribe i'm draco and i'll see you next time